All right, guys, we are back. This is a triple header on a Friday night. It is now 2 o'clock in the morning. And the last game that I did commentary on was Joe's, excuse me, Oregon Joe's shocking move on the Isle of Catan. So if you want to see a pretty entertaining and shocking move by Joe, check that video out. So we are back here at playcatan.com for a three-player game following... Joe and look at Nona in pink. I have never seen that dress before. Where did she get it? She is wearing Joe's hat. Look at that. But look at Nona. Seriously, I have never seen that dress. Where did she buy it from? Okay. So Joe has pulled out. Get a better view of the map. And he has first placement. So he did a shocky move last time who knows where he's gonna place today but you can bet five nine ten is a solid move because it's the good I mean the best rock in the game followed by two solid wheat if he's going for the dev cards and cities he might go for that but he also might think to get some of this wood going on in this game maybe get the eight four ten and go for a wood port on his next settlement possibly it's pretty hard to guess where you're going to place your second settlement. But I think Joe <laughs> Joe has played 6 4 11 which okay, I I got it. I got it. Okay, Joe, I got it. Not as shocking because it is the best brick in the game. Okay. But you have a four sheep and a long shot 11 wheat, which is not really wheat at all. So you have the best brick and a pretty good sheep looking to point towards the eight wood, which hopefully you can get. So I'm not sure if that's the best move. But we shall see because when a resource is a rarity it's good to have it and orange has wisely locked it up when you play settlements at opposite corners of a resource it prevents someone from building on it so orange locked it up meanwhile red has taken 8103 gaining good wood and has taken a solid intersection with the solid rock followed by wheat so Orange is just lacking in brick, but it's probably going to go dev cards and go for the wood port and use the wood to get the resource that she needs. So Joe playing with some girls. I hope Joe doesn't lose this match. We will see what happens. Joe is now looking probably to get, I think that's a good move. He's going to get solid road building, gain access to rock, and he is pretty far from wheat so Joe his only hope for wheat is this three which is not that good of a wheat I'd say it's a long shot three semi decent I'd say a four is decent so Joe has good road building he really needs to get to resources that he needs he really needs wheat but the closest wheat that is good is probably the nine in the top right of the map he could probably build roads around red because red is without brick so perhaps Joe is gonna do that he's already got two wood maybe he's gonna wait for some sixes to hit so he can get around red and gain access to a better wheat source so we'll see what Joe's gonna do meanwhile if you notice orange has played place her settlements on the six brick and the six wood so with a roll of a six just like our in our last game orange is gonna gain access to a road right away so a seven has been rolled and I guess we are not playing friendly Robert Joe has stolen a rock and is passing off to Orange, whose name is Scoppy. She said she liked her ore. Passing it off to Nona 
in her dazzling dress in red probably gonna go dev cards largest army strategy I would think I'm looking to get a brick because she doesn't have it Joe is not gonna do that he needs it to build his road we'll see what Joe is gonna do if Joe pulls the trigger he's probably gonna build on the coast and gain access to the three wheat and three wheat is better than no wheat and he'll double the eight but if Joe elects to hold his roads you can bet that he might be thinking about going around red and getting access to the nine I mean that'll take some time but Joe really, really needs to get wheat in his game so he instead is gonna try to go for the three to one port and slip around red that way so Joe is electing to go to the three to one port hopefully get enough resources in to trade away for wheat but as you know we say a lot here on Settlers TV if you lack in wheat you are pretty much guaranteed defeat so we'll see if Joe can overcome that principle that we've been seeing play out here in Catan meanwhile Orange is looking to connect his roads excuse me her roads did not see the braids under the helmet So Orange has a slightly better chance of making longest roads, but it's hard to say at this early stage in the game. This play goes to red. And is now with Joe, who rolls a five. Wheat for everyone else except Joe. Joe needs a brick, and it's now blocked. So a sheep would be good. Joe could probably get a development card get that robber off of his six so he can get the brick that he needs to build another road to the three to one port don't know if that's the best strategy but Joe is probably looking to get the three to one port so he can trade away resources that he gets in excess of